Hello everybody. Uh, I am Vanessa Marlowe at B Marlowe Art and this is just a video of me giving examples of how to do the painting paper swap. Um, I think I'm going to make it for three papers and make that one the international one and then I may do another one kind of like a mega swap for um, five papers with um, maybe like five partners. Uh, but anyways, so here I'm just saying I'm just explain them what I'm probably going to do with the papers that I get in the swap and make a little journal. And I, I'm explaining how I put the the binding together, uh, which I do in pretty much every video when I show my journals because it, it was just something that took me a long time to really understand and figure out what I liked personally for my journals. <clears throat> uh, so I just wanted to share that information. So every time I do a journal video, I usually share that information. Um, here I'm just doing mark making basically saying you can write doodle whatever you want with pretty much any kind of mark making tool that you want to use uh, and in the swap we are going to do both front and back of the paper and uh, so really in this video I'm trying to do I do some of them where I do not use a jelly plate and then I do some several of them where I do use a jelly plate and I just kind of explain different things like I do still use like an impression so I'm making like a little impression there with the paint like it was a jelly plate but it's not it's just another piece of paper uh, so you can still get really neat markings by just doing that you don't need a jelly plate to to make prints I guess is what I'm trying to say <clears throat> you can use different kinds of paper the paper those two pages right there came from a homeschool teacher's guide book uh, for language arts so that's cardstock uh, and it's pretty thick and then uh, I think I have some thin printer paper and then some thicker printer paper which I personally like the thick printer paper I like the cardstock too uh, anyway so I'm just putting down layers and this is um, the papers that I'm doing without the jelly plate and they take a little bit longer to do uh, for me uh, but because uh, jelly plate is just so much easier to cover all the white space um, which is the white space is just where the paint's not so on that brown piece of paper it's a brown space really but it's white space <laughs> uh, and just different tools to use you can literally just use like a another piece of cardstock and and wipe the paint around uh, I guess you make more interesting marks when you use a variety of different you know like brushes brush sizes uh, and uh, spatulas I said scapula <laughs> uh, and then I have just have a couple of journals to the side and I'm like you know this is texture paste on there which I put on some of the pages that I'm doing now I think the jelly printed pages I put texture paste on <clears throat> and to not use like a gloss gel because it, it does tend to stick or like glossy paints they do tend to stick so some of these pages I may need to go back over with like some clear gesso or some matte medium so they don't stick together and then that's true flow sex true flow off Amazon it's cheap paint it's translucent but it, it works really well and I like it and then the Soho paint is another one of my favorite, especially that. I think that's Payne's Gray. It's really pretty. <clears throat> yeah, just making a bunch of different marks and setting them to the side to dry. I do like to make like thick layers of paint and then scratch into it. Uh, I do like to have a bit of texture on my papers. So now I'm using the jelly plate and it just covers faster. Which I prefer. I prefer using the jelly plate, but it is nice going back to not using one because you do get a little bit of different different marks. <clears throat> now it's the clear gesso. I can't remember the company. But uh I'll probably go over the pages. I'll just um, do the clear gesso like I'm doing the paint here, basically. Um, but over the whole page. <laughs> I 
and I sped the video up because it was it was almost two hours a video and if you know me that is I just I just can't <laughs> um, so on YouTube there's an option to slow it down I don't know about if it messes with the video quality when you do that because I usually always speed it up double like every video I'll watch of people even when they're talking it, I'm very much um, I want to see it real quick and then I go and try to do it uh, and then tweak it to how I want it or how it works out for me or whatever <laughs> and that's the sex true flow of the black it's it's really nice it's a nice paint I think it's I mean, it's more of like a craft paint brand. And that is Nova Color uh, Hot Pink. I don't know if that's the official name, but it's Hot Pink. <laughs> <clears throat> and then Soho. I love that uh, brand. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, though. So anyway, for the swap, just cover the white space do as many layers as you want play around um, I know with my pages I'm gonna be tearing them down and making them into little art journals and here I'm just cleaning the plate off so I got some fabric gonna sit in I put I do put a thick layer of paint so whatever paint I use to pull up I put it thick on there so it gets down into the fibers um, and I'm just gonna let that dry actually let both of these dry. I'll do the same thing to this one when I'm done and they'll dry overnight. So <clears throat> it's like my new favorite thing to do. <laughs> I have all this fabric, jelly printed fabric. And right now I'll just use it like for the spine, but I mean, there's so much of it. I need to think of another way to use it or whatever. And I do, I mean, I like watching, uh, fabric journals like videos of fabric journals I think they're so pretty uh but in my mind when I think about using this to make like a page or like a whole journal it just doesn't I'm like mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like that but I love when other people do it um I may try it out I don't know and I talk and ramble on in this video but it's, it was just way too long I think it's almost 40 minutes now and that's like I'm going four times as fast <clears throat> and I don't know if I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and make a journal with the papers here that I'm making and make separate one because I mean for this swap it is going to be sender's choice so you can send whatever you want you can use whatever colors you want uh, you can decorate the paper however and uh, so if your partner says they don't like yellow then oh well <laughs> uh, but I do personally go and read my partner's profile before I send stuff. So if they don't like yellow, I'm going to not use yellow. And I'll probably even be hesitant in using green. Uh, it doesn't happen a lot, but I have had a few partners for like a paint, kind of a painting swap. And they don't like certain colors. And okay, I don't mind going out of my way to to make other people feel better, I guess you could say. <clears throat> but it is Cinder's choice, so. You can go ahead and just do the papers and whenever you get your partner mail it like then here yeah <laughs> made it w way too thick but I'm like oh well I'm just gonna do it anyways and sit it to the side and dry it just adds texture basically and you can't read the writing which is neat And I just set another piece of paper on there because I didn't want to brayer or get paint on that one paper. And it was still kind of wet. Excuse me. <clears throat> and I'm just 
just trying to cover the white space. And yeah, you can always come back in with the mark making tools, pencils, markers, whatever, on top of the on top of the paint. And then cover it again. That right there, I used the clear gesso just to kind of set that in place. Because it was uh what was it? Pastel. It was like a little pastel and it was like basically compact chalk that could rub off easily. <clears throat> Okay, here are the non-using the jelly plate papers. And I'm just covering white space, basically. And those are oil pastels, really cheap. Like little kid. Oil pastels. And then with the papers, if they get too wet and you do that impression where you, you know, put them together and pull the paint, or you just put two papers together with wet paint, you gotta do it quick because it will... Um, tear the paper. <laughs> Not know what I was talking about there. Oh, use your fingers. Yay. Oh, dang, he left it on there for a while. I mean, if you got sprays, um, by all means, spray on there. Make, um, flick paint on there. There's all kinds of different things you can do. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let it play for a little bit and maybe jump back on this long video. Sorry guys. <laughs> um I made a shorter one to just post quickly on my Instagram account. So I'll probably do one on my snow mill account and then one on the um V Marlow Art, the more art account since a lot of my swapping friends follow that account. I haven't I haven't posted on the other one in, in a while. But yeah, I'm just going to let it play through until I need to talk again. <laughs>
All right, here I am going to add some texture paste. I think it's Nova Color, like tenable texture paste, and I'm using the Payne's Gray um, Soho Payne's Gray, and I think there's some leftover purple under there getting mixed in. I don't know the name of this stencil. I do like using my little squeegee thing there because it pulls up the paint in the middle of the impression uh it like makes this so the sides stay dark but in the middle of it each little thing it'll it'll pull the paint up and be a little bit translucent in those spots <laughs> I really like that, that stencil. Only do one side. You're welcome to do both sides or not at all with the texture paste. That's fine. You can just um, use it in a different way. Use sprays or you can use uh, just a regular little sponge and, and dab it on there. Okay, here I have some homemade uh, stencils. And I think I use these on the ones that I don't use the jelly plate on. Ooh, why am I going so slow? Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, let me go see if I can fix that. Okay, so I think I fixed it. It may not be as fast. I just had to go back through and speed it up and try to find the right spot to uh, clip it at the front and the back of that. Oh, my dog's whining. Uh, so yeah, that's just a bunch of handmade stencils and I don't use all of them. I use just a couple of them. I'm just going to let this play through, and then I'll explain other stuff as it comes up. I don't think there's much to explain here. Oh, there is. There's a spot coming up. I can not find my, my large um, makeup sponge, so I have to do the little, the little dabs. These are one of my favorite stencils. And I'm just putting marks into the into the paint. Okay, and it, it does kind of speed up because that was the end of that portion that I accidentally slowed down instead of sped up, but I didn't speed it back up to this fast. <laughs> Maybe that made sense. Oh, closer. 
I think I'm I'm going to clean the plate here. Yeah, put the fabric on and just let it dry. And you don't have to do the whole plate. You can just do like little sections. If you have a little piece of fabric and you have a cool little section of the gel plate, just do that one little, one little spot. Okay, so it has it's the next day now, and it has dried overnight. This is actually this morning when I did this. And if I, I don't know if, I think maybe if I pull it off slowly, more paint comes off. Uh, but I, because of paper, I've, I've been so used to doing it over and over and over with paper, I'm going to do it really slow. So I have to tell myself, okay, it's okay, you can do it fast. The fabric's not going to rip. <laughs> I love this print. This is, this is just awesome. And I'll probably, you know, tear off the slices and send it with, with my swap. And that was one of the prints that didn't work very well. It came from, oh, you know how sometimes when you buy sheets from the store for your bed, the sheets, they come in a little cloth gift wrap type thing, and that's what that was. So. <clears throat> Just getting all the pages out that I did. Uh, I might add some more. Oh, yeah, I do some more things in a second and these are the non-jelly print pages here and I'm just basically saying just do whatever your brain tells you to if you don't know what to do right uh, that's what I do <laughs> uh, and I was just like I'm just gonna make down these permanent marker marks lines like that and then here I'm like I don't know what I'm doing but maybe it's like neat with the paint coming off the side um, there's always a way to kind of push the paint back um here I think I was talking about how if you want like defined impressions into the paint use a um a thick not a thick but a sturdy um mark making tool not like a flimsy a flimsy one wouldn't show the indentions as well if that makes sense so like the end of a pen or the end of a paintbrush um are very sturdy and and hard so it'll make a good impression and so on this one, I'm like, I don't like these sides where it's like, it looks like little sponge dab spots you can tell. So this is how you just kind of come back and hide it. Um, there's different ways to do that. You can use your finger to kind of go into the side and kind of smooth it out, blend it out or whatever. I mean, sometimes I do like those marks and then sometimes I want them more blended. <clears throat> and here the pink doesn't show too up too well on the right side which isn't a big deal I mean it's enough to be like a little detail um shows up better on the left side and I'm just kind of blending in um those little choppy marks with the that are made with the sponge and then adding some just some dots on the side to give more interest to like bring your eye around to we're not really focused in on maybe them perfect perfections and then here I'm just like okay my brain told me to do this I'm going to do it I think it's ugly as is but then you can always you know push it back with the prayer and then I'm like oh I love it now <laughs> and permanent marker seems to it really shows up through paint you can put many layers on there and it's like the permanent marker just kind of keeps coming back and showing up which is good but it, it can be annoying if you're trying to cover it like cover cover it <laughs> And then I love this, like the, the writing, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the writing where you don't, you're, you're saying something and you're actually writing something, but you, nobody can tell what it is, basically. And then uh, this, I just dabbed it on there and I mean, I'm just rubbing that paper on top and smearing the paint. It's just as simple as that. It's, it's a lot of fun. I like that technique. So that's probably my favorite page right there. Um, the one with the writing and the permanent marker on there. I think that's just a regular pencil, mechanical pencil, watercolor, um, crayon. And then doing that where you just basically rub the, the paper over the, with the paint, like you just paint with the paper, but it's like flat and you're just rubbing it around. It's very thin 
um, nice layer. And then here, I wish I wouldn't have done that because it makes it look eh, muddy a little bit. But then you just go back in and define it a little bit and it's fine. All these pages are going to be torn down and made into a book and probably covered from there. So this is pretty much the end and I'm just going over the three different sizes of envelopes that I might use for the swap. The really big one and then the 6x9 which um, to send these you can fold the paper whichever way you need to to get it sent out. Uh, I try not to go over um, one fourth thickness with my envelopes. It is always cheaper that way. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I hope that y'all or some people would want to sign up for the swap and i will probably make uh more videos of the art journals that i make with these so thanks for watching bye